promised a couple of people that I'd show them how to wire this thing up. Uh, this is in essence just a 433 to 2.4 gig repeater. Now this is just a dummy antenna that I've got on at the minute. Um, now when I plug this in I don't even know if you can see it but if I turn these lights off turn all the lights off you can see on the left here we've got the main voltage battery the main battery voltage and this one is the internal BEC voltage so turn all these back on yeah okay so what I'll do is I'll take it apart which is just held on with the uh, velcro and I'll take it apart and I'll show you how to wire it up I'll just um, just to show you it's uh, it does plug in so it's completely self-contained if I want to take it apart so what we have in here is an X6R uh, which has got and it's piggybacked I've wired it uh, soldered it directly to the board uh, this is actually an S bus to CPPM converter uh, which goes actually directly to this plug here which that plugs into um, the U back in there is just to power that and also there's a, the um, LED display to show the voltage of that that's all um, and that's simply it I mean the, the antennas don't have to be long and you can keep them inside because it's only got to receive oof, 20 feet that's it maybe a bit more so it's quite literally as simple as that that plugs into the side there I mean you could actually wire that directly to that wouldn't matter but I just do things all overboard all the time so that's it if you only need eight channels um, or up to eight channels then you can actually use um, an X4R but if you need more than four channels sorry if you need more than eight channels which is what I do I need 12 channels I have to use an X6R so what I've done is in essence what you do is you bind the X6R or X8R um, with a Tyrannus um, you take the S bus output off the X6R or X8R and you plug it into the CPPM converter which is that board there and the output from that goes directly to here basically it's as simple as that obviously the easy UHF needs 12 volt and this thing needs 5 volt that's why I've got the BEC in there and that's why I've got the um, the LED displays on there so as I can just monitor the voltage and it's basically as simple as that if you want it to be crude all you do is you get a BEC um, plug it into your 12 volt get a BEC to power this and then you take the output on it, the S bus output feed it through a CPPM converter and take the output and wire it directly to that hopefully that's made more sense I don't know how to make any more sense actually <laughs>